Hello, all my single friends out there. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a special reading for um, those singles who are out there and looking for love and wondering what's coming in your direction. Once again, this is for all signs. Doesn't matter uh, what sign you are. If you are single, you are in the right place. So we will get started. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for our fire sign singles? First card situation, two clarifiers please. Bottom of the deck will be the <coughs> excuse me, the overall theme. Fire signs first, that's Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Okay. Sorry about the hacking. I'm getting a cold. Actually, I think it's allergies. Okay. Oh. Hello, singles. Death card. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, wow. Well, there's that nine of chalices. I had started a reading just a couple of seconds ago, and I shut the camera off and restarted it and shuffled and shuffled and shuffled because this was the first card out in a, a reading I did earlier, and I felt maybe my cards weren't shuffled well enough. Oh, my God, and so was this one. Okay, then. <laughs> Those were the cards destined to come out, and that one was, wow, I have chills. My hair is on end, standing on end. Okay, so your overall theme of your week, fire signs, is somebody is freaking obsessed with you. Um, they sit there and think about you. This is, see the creepy guy cutting a lock of her hair while she's sleeping so he can take it with him. Oh, God, the name of wands. Wow, I cannot believe. Wow. Okay. So anyways, fire signs. Um, your main issue is a death card. Getting over somebody. Letting things go that um, that from someone who betrayed you. As you see, there's a, a couple in the back here. And here is you. Um, you were betrayed. And the hard part is letting that betrayal go letting that chapter close because at one point in time this was your wish come true this was everything they sexually satisfied you they emotionally they were all about you and with the ten of pentacles in reverse they no longer care about the family they no longer care about you um your happiness they're very selfish they only care about themselves they're obsessed with you still but it's in a non-healthy way so you're biggest, I'm going to clarify this actually, your biggest um, hurdle of the week, guys, is to, oops, is to um, cut yourself off from this energy for the love of God. Cut them out of your life. For sure. Um, this person means you know yeah, there is no new beginning with this person. There is no future with this person. The universe will not um, give this opportunity of a, of a future with you. Yeah, if this doesn't say it. They will not give you a future with this person because it is a malefic relationship. It is somebody who has deceived you, cheated on you. It's time to move on towards away from that so your new beginning can come in, your blessings. It's time to move forward with the Six of Swords. Move on from this Nine of Cups. Um, leave that in the past. Uh, you could be moving away from an air sign, but no matter what, it's got you all up in your head with anxiety um, about this family that is no longer a family unit. Um, so uh, for you singles this week, I see you moving on from big energies. Big, big energies. So thank goodness. All right. We will move on to Earth next. Spirit and angels, what do Earth signs have in store for them in love for this week? Earth sign singles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I'm still blown away by that fire sign read. I, that is the exact same cards I had earlier. Wow. Okay, two of swords or signs. So somebody is making a choice um, on whether to stay with a lover or whether to end it completely. For this group of you, you guys are married, but um, 
acting single, I guess you could say. You guys are on the outs of this relationship. Um, you could have your eye on a water sign female if you're male. Um, earth sign if you are a male looking towards, or a female looking towards a male. But choices are being made. You have made a choice of whether to stay or to go. Um, yeah, you're not going to give this person a, a, a new beginning. You are moving forward and uh, and not... You guys have chosen not to remain in this relationship. You are moving forward and moving on to that of a new for a group of you you have met a female at work that you are kind of smitten on and it's going to be successful if you approach it in a slow manner um for another group of you you are going to be getting out of this depression of this failed relationship and um an earth sign is going to catch your eye a, another earth sign male um and they're going to work really hard to get you. So uh, give them a chance. It's going to be a healthy, it's going to be a healthy relationship. Both of them actually are going to be very healthy. Your overall theme of your reading was the Four of Pentacles. So you are, you're uninterested anyways. Um, this relationship has ran its course. You're going to officially end it. And you guys are going to be starting new relationships within the next couple weeks. So looks good for you earth signs we will go on to air what does the week oh look like for the air the devil temptations um that's gonna sound weird but like freaky shit like i don't know like <laughs> orgies i don't know along those lines oh my god air signs what in the hell are you doing Wow. I see swingers, partner swaps. Oh, not good because it's going to cause, uh, it's going to damage your relationship. Yep. Uh, okay. The bottom of the deck, the bottom of your reading is the six of pentacles. So, um, this person is off thinking about somebody else while their partner is in the back. That's what this kind of stuff does. You put other people in your marriage, other people in your relationship, it's going to cause a rift between the two. So you guys are in separation. You guys are separated apart. Um, you are acting in a single manner, but you are technically still um, married to somebody. This is not healthy. There are um, addictions with this card as well. Um, could be a sex addiction very easily. But... Your secrets are going to be coming out, revolving around this, um, these dirty deeds that you did in the dark, and it's definitely going to affect any relationship that you have currently held out any hope of fixing. Um, for another group of you, you are going to get into a relationship with uh, somebody that you have met through this. Um, and it is going to end up being successful. That is if you are not partnered now. If you are not partnered now and you meet somebody through um, a weird... I'm sorry, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but holy cow, what I'm seeing is so weird. Not saying like the act of it in itself, but I've just never got quite this graphic of a <clears throat> reading before. So, um, for a group of you, this is a Libra that you are dealing with, um, or you are the Libra, I'm saying, I mean, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is going to happen fast. You're not going to have much time to think about it. Unfortunately, the wheel of fortune is in the reverse. So these secrets coming out could damage any hope you've had of either salvaging a relationship or starting a new relationship with somebody. So, um... You just got to remember all secrets always come to light eventually. Uh, so if it doesn't work out, just keep moving forward. Um, that I, wow, I've never seen that kind of reading in my 
in my vision before. You guys like to have a darn good time. All right, water signs, singles. What do they have coming to them this week? All right, the Knave of Wands. So somebody is very passionate for you. Um, but the passion is reciprocated. You guys both just, you lust for each other. I don't see that you are with this person yet, but you are going to be. You think about them all the time. Here you are in the memories of your past. You have been with this person in the past. You have been with this person before. And you are remembering the good times, the passionate times you guys had for each, with each other. And uh, I thought I flipped another card, but Ace of Cups on the bottom. Awesome water signs. New beginnings. This person is coming back to you. Um, this, Like I said, this is a person that you've been with before. There was a third party in the past. That third party has been removed from the equation, and they are coming back for you. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's going to, this time it's going to be a fair and balanced relationship. There, You could be dealing with a Libra, but most of all, the karmic scales are balancing. You guys have dealt with your karmic debts, and they are coming back to start a relationship with you in the next week. They have gotten out of this depression this morning of what has happened in the past, and they're only thinking positive things about you guys at the moment. Like I said, there was a third party in the past, uh, clarified by the Three of Cups, but that is no more. They have gotten rid of that third party, and they are ready to offer you the Ace of Cups. And I'm just going to pull one more. Yep, this is your soulmate. 